hey guys today we are going to make silver from silver nitrate so disclaimer silver nitrate is very corrosive and it is an environmental hazard so you might want some protection for your hands or else you'll get kind of black or purplish stains like this yeah and also it is quite toxic so yeah and this is the silver you will be getting so wait let me crush your expectations this silver you get won't be a hunk of silver it will be powderized more like this and it won't shine as much as um, a ring like it won't shine as much as a ring but it is still pretty cool it looks like silver but it just won't be what you're expecting so let's get started so you might want to have some protection and this was the best I could get because I tore my gloves I am stupid so yeah just open the silver nitrate container carefully and you'll see there's a another cap over here that you have to lift and oh god it is quite hard oh ouch it is very hard to take it off and yeah you want to do it slowly oh shit yeah see you don't want this stuff on your hand oh yeah unlike silver chloride and other compounds of silver silver nitrate is much stronger and it won't be corroded by sunlight So let's take a beaker and pour some of the silver nitrate in here. I'm I'm so sorry if you can, if you all can hear the plastic. Okay, I don't want to pour all of it. I just want a little amount. Okay, done. So here's a white silver nitrate. So since solid chemicals cannot react, we have to mix it with a few milliliters of water. And it does not matter if it's distilled water. It does not matter too much. So I just got tap water. Now I'll pour it in here. I won't pour too much because I have too less of a quantity of silver nitrate. And once you start mixing, the solution will go cloudy white so yeah you just have to keep on mixing until all the silver nitrate is dissolved which right now it is not so I'll keep on mixing and as you can see it is quite cloudy right now so now we are ready to convert it into silver so to convert this into the much loved silver you you can use anything tin copper well you don't you, you cannot use copper wire but since I lack a copper strip so I won't be using copper at all iron nails rusted not rusted does not matter or even aluminum and yes this that is an aluminum nail also, you can use some zinc. Let me just open it. But with zinc, your solution will get from cloudy white to black due to the formation of zinc nitrate. So yeah. First of all, I'll react the silver nitrate solution with zinc in this bottle because I like that black color and I want it. So, with the help of a dropper, okay, I'll pick up some of the solution and carefully put it inside. Like that. 
and I don't know if you can see or not, but oh wait, let me focus it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see or not. The zinc got from a grayish tint to jet black. So that's how you can know that zinc nitrate is actually forming. So now that I have filled my zinc container with the silver nitrate solution, some precipitates are starting to form. Okay, there are not some, there are a lot of precipitates here. And those precipitates are actually the silver that you need. So I'll put it on time lapse. You want to let the zinc take its time and convert all of the silver nitrate to silver, which is the black thing that you see over here. Sorry, wait, let me just put it on the ground and show you. So yeah, this grayish black thing that you see is the silver. And the above solution has gone from blackish to just 10 minutes ago to quite clear. Yeah. So the above solution is now zinc nitrate and all of the silver has been displaced which you can see over here. Just for precaution I'll let it sit for another 10-15 minutes and then I'll filter it to get the silver out. There we go. In the meantime as I let the zinc one do its thing why don't we put it put some of the silver nitrate on the piece of tin that I have. Let's try it. So would I have the pipette or the dropper? I take some of the solution and carefully put it on here. Okay. As you can see as soon as I put it, the solution has turned blackish and the tin is reacting. So the reaction is quite fast and it forms the silver. the end your zinc will look like this a black piece of obsidian so I have this much of silver nitrate left and I just knew that my ring is actually made of copper so let's try making copper nitrate at the same time I will actually film all of this in time lapse. So here's my ring, which I believe is made of copper. And I'll try putting it in this to make copper nitrate and silver again. So my guess was actually correct. My ring is made of copper. And this silver looks much better than that silver. That is just black. 
I don't know what the hell happened to it. Maybe it's because of the zinc. I don't know. But the copper is doing quite well. It has made the shiny silver that I want. But I don't care, I will be mixing both of the silvers. And as you could see in the time lapse, as soon as I put the ring inside the silver added solution, it got that coating of silver. In theory, this solution should go blue, as copper nitride is blue in color. To speed up the process, let me try putting in that piece of copper wire I had. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Sorry, nail. Yeah. So let me try putting it in. I don't think that it would react because of the coating that wires have. Yeah, I don't think it is reacting. Yeah, I just might have to take it out. I don't know if you can see it, but the solution has just gone blue. It has gone that awesomely light shade of blue. Almost turquoise. And that fat layer of silver at the bottom. So again, the blue liquid is copper nitrate. And once it gets, um, I mean, sorry, all of the silver nitrate gets decomposed and the silver is removed, the solution will go to a darker shade of blue. Not like totally dark blue, but a little darker than this. That's when you know the reaction is done. So here is the total yield of the silver made from the zinc one. As you can see, the silver is grey in colour. I actually seriously do not know why. But if you know, please feel free to write it in the comments. And also, I don't know if the camera can catch it or not, but the copper nitrate has just gone darker. It is darker than before, I assure you that. But I do not know if the camera can see it or not. But yeah, but that's better. Yeah, it has gone darker. So now it tells me that the reaction is done. So I have to filter it now. Actually, I think it would be better if I did not filter it. Leave it with this blue shade. I'll just put it in this bottle. Yeah, I want like, like a nice table present. This is the total yield of the silver that I got from the my ring. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Why the hell is this black? I don't even know. And some of you might be wondering why am I doing it on the floor? This is because I do not recommend using silver nitrate on a table because if it falls. Your hands, are, your hands are gone actually. Also, silver nitrate is toxic. Be safe. Bye.